Say guys, it's an honor to have you here, if you want to receive the latest news from New York Yankees daily, already subscribe and activate notifications in all options, and you will always be informed with the Yankees news. How much is too much to pay for a starting number 5? That's the question the Yankees may be trying to answer about Jameson Talon this offseason as he becomes a free agent. Talon performed better than a typical starting fifth in his two seasons in the Bronx, but at least theoretically that's where he would fit in next season, behind Garrett Cole, Nestor Cortez, Luis Severino and Frankie Montas, all under the control of the Yankees for 2023. Of course, that's only if Montas proves he's more like the guy who pitched to a 3.19 ERA in Oakland for the A's this season, rather than the one who was beaten as a Yankee, pitching to a 6 ERA, 35 and 8 matches after coming in on a trade and lost time due to an arm injury. Yankees fan, I am essentially ask you to like this video, it's free and IT doesn't cost anything, so you motivate me more and more to bring warm content to you, thanks. So should the Yankees re-sign Tylon? A lot could depend on whether the Yankees re-sign Aaron Judge, because if they do, they'll likely be looking to save money elsewhere on the roster, Talon being an obvious case in point. The Yankees bet on Talon when they traded for him two years ago, as he had missed most of the previous two seasons due to Tommy John's surgery, and it paid off because he remained healthy, making 29 starts in 2021 and 32 starts in the past. You are a Bronx Bombers fan, now I have to know your opinion about it. What do you think? Talon deserved to leave? Yes or no? Comment below, as the New York Yankees takes into consideration your voice as a team fan. Soon I'll return with more Bombers news to you.